coming up next on Beach Nuts. I'm John. I can't think of anyone more exciting actually than meeting royalty. And I'm Beth. Except for Justin Bieber. And we're spotlighting five legendary moments in Beach Blanket Babylon's extraordinary history in this five-part series. Here we go, presenting legendary moment number two, Annette Funicello headlines Beach Blanket Babylon. Film and TV star Annette Funicello was delighted to be coaxed out of semi-retirement when Steve Silver invited her to be a part of his tribute to the beach blanket movie genre of the 1960s. When she appeared in a one-night-only performance of Beach Blanket Babylon Goes to the Stars and the Beach, San Francisco's California Hall was transformed into a beach set fit for Hollywood. All right, Annette Funicello, and you were there. Oh my God, Annette Funicello. Were you an Annette fan? Oh yeah, way, yeah. Were you, was, like as a child, you were a fan of? Oh yeah, yeah. I used to watch uh, Mickey Mouse Club all the time. My sister and I would sit in front of the television. She had her favorites. I don't remember who they were because I was focused on Annette. So, and you got to meet her? I got to meet her, yeah, and work with her. She was very down to earth, just knowing that she was there and she was gonna be performing and everything that I was doing was helping to organize the way that she was going to be presented to the audience. That was pretty much a kick for me. The best part was the way that Steve had choreographed the presentation of Annette being at the top of the stairs. He had these muscle guys with giant beach balls that were being held in the middle of the staircase and as the music played, the beach balls would, would separate and then right at the top, she was revealed and it just absolutely brought the house down. So what is your job in an extravaganza like the Annette Funicello? Well, I'm, I'm stage manager and uh, I do all the organizing for everything that, that is supposed to happen on stage. Getting all the uh, surfer dudes and the surfer chicks to get into place behind the curtain before that presentation occurred, I had them jumping like gazelles. I was snapping my fingers and clapping my hands, getting them into place, and they were just jumping like gazelles. It was it was awesome. What an interesting career Annette Funicello's had. Yes. What was the had. audience like? Who were her fans? Uh, got a lot of guys from the Castro that loved her. The straight guys, gay guys, it, it was, they were all over her. They loved wow, her. They she's loved a her. dude magnet. Steve Silver was uh, really taken with Annette. I think that there, there was something in his heart about, about the beach blanket movies and the fun and the innocence of the cast of characters. It really struck a note in his brain that he wanted to, to do something with that. When the show was at, uh, at California Hall, there was two tons of sand on the floor that he brought, had brought in. And, and you know, it was, it was Beach Blanket Babylon, Ghost of the Stars, and the Beach. It was, it was phenomenal Annette. to be a part of it. Annette. 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 Annette Funicello. It was legendary. I mean, Annette Funicello is, is the queen of the Beach Blanket movies. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. We're posting part three of BBB's Legendary Moments on Facebook and YouTube next week. So keep checking your news feed, and thanks for watching. For tickets, call 415-421-4222 or go to beachblanketbabylon.com.